morning, everybody. I just thought I'd give you a quick peek of the next project for the motorhome, which will probably be the last one before we start using it. Uh, we got an air compressor, so let's take a look at that. Now well, here, oh, here's, let's get it out of the box. That's a 200 pound air compressor, heavy duty, so we can keep the tank going. We got, I'm not gonna pull this out, but this is a two and a half gallon tank for air. So that way we'll have onboard air in the motorhome because it's a gas, so it's not, not being a diesel, it doesn't uh, have an onboard compressor. So now we will. And gee, there was a little bonus along with that. Let's see what this is in here. Oh no, that's a train horn, and that's a big train horn. I guess we'll have to test it to see if it works, but uh, uh, so onboard air and a train horn. Get out of the way. Okay, <laughs> let's see if this is gonna work. I've only got about 90 pounds of pressure in my other compressor here, but we're gonna, we're gonna see how loud it is. I think I'm gonna wake up the neighbors. <laughs> I think it's loud. <laughs> that ought to send a few people in the right lane into the weeds. Good morning, thanks for watching Down the Road We Go, and this is another In the Shop series. We're finally getting the time to uh, go ahead and finish up the project for the air, the onboard air. We're going to put a VIA air compressor and a five gallon tank on board. That way we'll have plenty of air for tires or anything and of course the train horn. Uh, so what we got to do this morning, we're just going to mock it up and uh, check that everything fits in the bay that we want it to fit in and then we're going to uh, start installing it. So here's what we have. And it's probably better with a light on. Okay, in this bay is what we've got. We've got our five gallon tank. Now this bay, the only thing that's in it right now is the inverter and the generator, automatic generator run uh, circuit tree that runs it if we need a generator. Anyway, what we've got in here is the five gallon via air tank and the via air compressor. So everything seems to fit in here. So what we got to do next is we're going to measure and put a piece of wood down here, about three quarter inch thick, so we can get a nice flat surface to put it on. And then uh, after we get that and we get everything installed, then we'll start wiring it up and plumbing it for the air horns and for uh, the regular air to fill up the tires and stuff. I think we've got most of everything we need. Uh, we might need a little more wire and we need the wood. So let's get at it and we'll get busy getting that wood and getting it cut out and painted and sticking it in there. Now that we have the wood painted and cut, we're going to fit it into the uh, bay here, and then the next step will be to see about uh, mounting the tank on it. So let's get at that. We've gone ahead and uh, put the wood in. As you can see, it fits pretty tight. Uh, it right up to the lip down here, and in the back, the cutout. That's the plug you take out for to drain this compartment. Once we get the tank mounted in here it'll have a drain line that goes out into that plug right there and drain up underneath and that way you know we won't get any moisture in here so the next step is the tank the first step of putting this tank in sorry for the light it's a little uh, that's a little bright let me cover that up a little bit but we've put the tank in there where it's going to be and hooked up the drain line there's going to be this clear drain line that will drain through the port in the back back here in the bottom and out to the out to the pavement underneath the motorhome that'll let us drain the tank of any moisture or water and we'll be able to tell because the actual valve right here is what we would turn on to drain that and since it's a clear tube we'll see if there's any any water or anything in there so the next step is to 
put the pump in here and uh, some wiring and stuff and mock it up and get it all mocked up and ready to actually install permanently right now we can move this tank around um, we got the gauge over here shows how much is in the tank this is going to be the outlet to the air horns or no that's going to be the outlet to regular onboard air and we'll have a uh, uh, we'll have a valve on that to control that and then this small one right here in the middle is actually the one that's going to go to the air horns and then this is the cutoff switch if the pressure gets too high so the next step like i said is to mock up where the rest of the stuff's going to go in here like the compressor and there's a a relay and that sort of thing so we'll we'll do that now okay again sorry for the light up here but anyway um we're trying to set up everything here and we've got everything in place where we want it we've got the tank we've got all the hookups to it the We've got the drain and the pump and the solenoid to turn it on and off. The solenoid also, if it uh, gets too much pressure, it'll shut the pump off. So all we have to do now is tie everything down. We haven't tied anything down, it's just sitting there. And But now that we have everything where we want it, we're gonna tie everything down and then we'll start on the, the wiring and then we gotta mount the horn someplace. So a little bit of work ahead of us, but here we go. Well, now we're up front and we just got the air horn mounted. I think this is looking down from the engine compartment to the ground. I think maybe if it doesn't peel up uh, pavement when we honk it, everybody should hear it. Ooh, yeah, just fit. On to wiring it. Well, as you can see, there's the pump. We've got it all wired to the solenoid, solenoid to the cutoff switch. We've got the air hose going to the air horn. We've got the regular air hose that we can inflate tires or whatever we need air for. Pressure gauge on the tank itself. Of course, these both have pressure gauges on them too. And uh, we're ready to go to town. And it is loud, let me tell you. We'll put a little bit of air in here and give it a try. So we're right back. So everything's ready to go. As you can see, we've got the 40 amp circuit breaker in line in there for the pump. That red cable there follows it all the way around to the back. And we have we have spliced into the horn relays, or actually the horn themselves, and brought it back down to our air horns here. So that uh, whenever we honk the horn, the air horns will go off and so will the regular horns. Now we also have a switch up there to turn the air horns off, so we just use the regular horns. Uh, that would probably be uh, you know, in town or someplace where you don't want somebody to hear them. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, we got some air in there. We've got this all done and hooked up. Let's go give it a try and see what they sound like. Okay, let's give the regular horns a try. Probably can't hear them for five feet. Now let's give both the air horn and the regular horns are hooked together and we'll give that a try. Maybe not. Let's try that again. Well as you can see we've got the switches in and got them labeled. This is for the compressor. This is for the air horn. Gonna need some better stickers. Yeah, that didn't work real good, did it? I have to get some better stickers for that. But anyway, let's see if it works. Let's see, we got the horn on. The air has been on, so there's about 180 pounds in there. Let's see, now this is, uh, when we do this, this is both horns. It's both uh, the electric horns that came with it and the air horn. I think they'll hear it. That guy heard it. <laughs> Somebody came driving down the street and got real slow and looked like, what was that? Anyway, thanks for watching uh, Down the Road We Go in the Shop Series, guys. The horn is fixed, ready to go. And uh, so we've just got a couple more projects to uh, get done before we're ready for the winter. Stick around. 
um, make sure you subscribe and click the little bell so that you uh, get all our videos. So thanks again for coming along for the ride as down the road we go. Thanks for watching Down the Road We Go. If you're new to our channel or you just want to make sure you see all our videos, make sure you click the little subscribe button on our logo and make sure also you ring the little bell and that way YouTube will notify you whenever we put up a new video. So thanks for coming along for the ride as Down the Road We Go.